this is Jane Tolbert and it is day six of my out of body experience adventure. Behind me is my astral travelling sofa and it's clear to me from today's experience that I have out of body exploration anchored to that sofa. So as soon as I sit on it or lie on it, certain things start to happen. Like what, you might be asking? Well, today, today's program was all about learning a technique called the ladder technique. It's a kinesthetic or tactile technique. And the idea is you lie down on your astral launch pad and then you become deeply relaxed. And the narrator, the host of the program, went through a kind of, it was a hypnotic induction the direct method of induction, suggesting that we imagine ourselves walking down a set of stairs, becoming more and more relaxed as we went down the stairs. And then to imagine a rope ladder above our chest and then to start to climb the rope ladder. Now he suggested right up front that we were going to be doing this rope ladder technique. So as soon as I lay on the sofa and close my eyes, <laughs> I, I actually laughed out loud because the part of me that knows how to leave my physical body sat right up. So I'm lying down but have this sense of having already sat up. So then I'm in, in a conflict because I want to be a good girl and listen to what this guy has to say because you know what, there might be something to learn in this programme that's essential and will add to my experience of my out-of-body explorations. And I've got this other part of me that says, hey, look, we know how to do this now. Let, let's go, let's go while we're out. So I encourage this part of me to lie back down and to go with the process. So we got to the deeply relaxed bit and the ladder came down and then that part of me that had been sat up got up again and said, look, here's the ladder, look up. <laughs> Come on, don't wait for him. Because at this stage, the guy hadn't even said, touch the ladder. But the part of me that wanted to get out and about, the explorer, the adventurer, was sitting up holding the ladder. So at this point, there's this feeling of movement in my body, a feeling of like ripples and turning. And this is becoming quite familiar to me. So I thought, I have a choice now. And the choice is... I say to myself, go up the ladder, see what's there. And I decided on the spur of the moment to meet my higher self. I did the whole awareness now thing and I'm afraid I had to leave the guy behind doing his talking thing. Now, I did not complete today's program because... <laughs> When I started to climb that ladder, it was really kind of quick and it was almost like a wormhole. And I was seeing through to something at the end of what looked like a starry, yeah, cosmic type of tunnel. And when I got to the end of it, there were big geometric shapes like diamonds in a kind of a black space, really sparkling and turning around. And then that kind of opened up into a big, swirling, starry space. And it really took my breath away. And then I became, if you like, consciously aware of my experience and the conflict that existed between me being there, meeting I don't know what that was, and not being a good girl and listening to this guy who still had us only one or two rungs up the ladder. And I decided, for now, the conflict, the effect of the conflict wasn't supportive of my experience. So I think I had an out-of-body experience. I don't, <coughs> pardon me, I don't know what I met. But I also now know that what is happening for me in the programme isn't fast enough for what this guy has already helped me to do. What that means is I've reached a decision point and tomorrow is going to be the last day of my out-of-body exploration adventures and I have decided to pioneer for myself. So I think I know how to get out of my body by creating, by waiting for this feeling of movement, by setting a clear target and tomorrow I'm going to have another go at meeting whatever this higher self is. 